so for that i am going to make a class decision tree okay and in this what i am going to do is i am going to initialize it in it and let's make self depth is going to be zero and the uh, what is depth let's suppose you have this 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 so how many levels of uh, uh you know uh, leaves you have is going to be the depth of the tree so we are uh, going with the default depth of zero that means we are not going to create any uh not to, uh, we are not going to create any but uh, the initial depth is zero and the maximum depth is max depth is going to be five this is a hyperparameter you can change this value as you want okay so self dot left because first of all what we are doing here is because with this we are going to make a node and then it is going to have a left part and a right part and that left part and right part is going to be similarly like this so we are going to use recursion here okay you will see what i am doing here so it will have a left part so that left part is right now null it will also have a right part so right is also null None. Then self dot f key is also going to be none. Self dot f well is also going to be none. Self dot depth is going to be depth. Whatever the depth is, self dot max depth is going to be max underscore depth. And self dot target target is going to be the output value like what if. Is our output okay? So because let's suppose we have this, we have this, we have this, we have this, we have this. So now all of these uh, nodes is going to have a target. Like if you will stop just right here, then it is going to tell you an output like okay, you can split, or the output is let's say zero or one, or you can say the output is yes you can play outside or no you cannot play outside again with this case it is also going to have a target again with these cases it is going to have a target so uh, we have initialized it like this now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a train method so def train and in this i'm going to pass the self and text underscore train that is going to be our data so uh, now what we are going to do is we are going to have the features here okay so let's suppose for right now we have some features like uh, uh, what do we say let's suppose we have features like uh, mm, humidity humidity and we have features like uh, temperature okay and we have features like uh, uh, rain or oh, let's say wind okay so this is going to be our features we, you can also add the fourth feature that is uh, whatever it was outlook you can also add outlook but i'm just showing you to explain you so these are the features and we are not going to ex uh, use the output to variable in this okay so we have our feature now what we are going to do is we are going to find the information gain for every of these features information gains equal to this because as i said earlier that we are going to decide how we are going to split our tree on uh, which uh, on the uh, on what feature on what uh, features we are going to split our data so what we are going to do we are going to find the uh, we are going to find the information gain on every of them like this then with this then with this then with this and what it is going to do uh, it is going to give some output now whomever uh, the output or the information gain is the biggest then uh, we are going to split on the basis of that specific uh, in, uh, that specific feature okay so this is what we are doing here so we are going to find all the information in so for i x in features and what i'm going to uh, get i'm going to get an information gain from the information gain function and in this i'm going to pass the x chain then 
what we need to pass here we need to pass the f key our f key is nothing but the feature that we are going to find the information gain with and then we also need to give the mean of that uh, value so what it is going to do is uh, x underscore green green in this i'm going to pass ax so for that i'm going to find the mean okay so this is how we are going to find the mean and then i am going to add info gains equal to info gains dot append so i'm going to append all the information gain that i'm going to find into this list okay so i underscore gain so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to uh, now again set the f key and f value on the basis of which we are going to split okay so let me just do that so self self dot f key like it means that okay if we are on this node then on this node we are gonna split on what basis we are going to store here that so that is going to be features features f e a t u r e s features and n p dot arc max arc max info underscore key so what it is going to do let's suppose the information gain here is 0.01 the temperature information gain is 0.2 and the windy information gain is uh, let's suppose 0.2 uh one eight okay so the best information gain that i have is here the largest information gain so what i am doing here i am getting the arc max it means that i am getting the index value of the maximum of these values okay so the maximum values is 0 0.2 and the index value for that is one so what i am doing here i am getting the name of that feature so that feature is going to be temp so we are storing that okay this uh, our node is going to split on the basis of that uh, feature that is temperature okay similarly we, what we are going to do is we are going to get the uh, f well it means that okay whether we are going to split it um, in the left part or the right part so basically we are going to get the mean okay so f well equal to uh, x underscore train self dot key protect key and I have to just find the mean of that part so we have decided that okay we are we want to split on the basis of let's say wind okay so now what we are doing here is that we are getting the mean on the um, we are getting the mean of this column so that we can decide like which uh, which examples to split in the left part and which ex example to split in the right part okay so now next part is let me just run this okay now i am also going to split and uh, print that okay i am splitting the tree here so splitting double t uh, ing splitting tree and i'm going to set that okay i'm going to split on the basis of f value uh, or f key let's see that we are splitting on the value of f key okay so now data underscore right uh, data underscore left is going to be divide data and x underscore train comma self dot f key and self dot f well. self dot f well. yeah so we are dividing now we are really dividing our data and in this part we were only dividing it for the information gate but now we are really dividing our data for the uh, what do we say for the decision tree okay and data right now data underscore right is going to be data underscore right dot in uh, reset underscore index row equal to 
similarly we are going to reset the index for the left tree also so left left okay so what we are doing here is let's suppose our data was something like this we had index values of 0 1 2 3 4 okay now we have split our data and in the left part we have 0 1 5 uh, 0 1 4 and in the right part we have 2 and 3 or i guess 2 4 and 1 and 4 so you will understand it better now as you can see here we can uh, this is not good for our indexing so what we are doing here we are resetting the index back to 0 1 2 and 0 and 1 okay because we are going to use recursion here so that's why we are doing this okay now we have data left we have data right and what i want to do is if data underscore left dot shape 0 equal to equal to shape 0 equal to equal to 0 or data underscore right dot shape 0 equal to equal to 0 and if uh, what i'm going to do is x underscore train dot output dot mean is greater than equal to 0 0.5 i will tell you what i'm doing here let me just write it then self dot target equal to survive and else self dot target equal to not survive uh, let's say output positive uh, output is going to be negative okay so what we are doing here we are saying that okay if we do not have a left data or we do not have a right data okay so what we are doing here is that let's suppose uh, we are dividing on this part okay and we have uh, 20 let's suppose we have 2 and then we have here false now in this true part what we have is when we return true okay so when we return uh, the left part it has nothing and when it has the right part what it is going to have it is going to have some values so those values is going to be same those values is going to be same because if uh, the, those values were not same then it must have any other values okay so what it is saying let's suppose it is if it has all the values like 0 0 0 0 0 so if it, if it has all the values like 0 0 it means that we are not going to play out and we are going to get the mean of this now we are getting the mean of this it is going to be 0 and if this mean is less than 0 0.5 then uh, we are saying that okay we cannot play out and if this mean is uh, greater than 0 0.5 then it means that we are saying that it is going uh, we are going to play out okay so this is uh, what we are doing here okay so this is our output is going to be positive or negative and now what i am going to do is i am going to return because if we will have just if we do not have anything to split now then we are going to return and if if self dot depth is greater than self uh, self dot max underscore depth it means that if our depth is greater than the max depth then still we are going to stop and we are going to return okay now what i am going to do here is i am to make our tree left and right so self dot left equal to is going to be this uh, decision mm. 
should be decision. Yeah. So decision three. It will going to have self dot depth plus one, and it is going to have self dot max and let's go depth. Okay, self dot left dot train is going to be data and the score left and same thing that uh, we are going to do with the right part right so this is uh, what we are doing here is that uh, we are using the uh, recursion here and we are creating the left and the right part on the basis of what we have done here okay so this is it now and yeah this is good and now what we are going to do is if we are again we are going to return this and the reason that why we are doing this okay so what we are doing here is at first what we did is we said that okay if we do not have any uh, if our depth is uh, maximum uh, is greater than max depth or if we do not have any data to split so what we are doing here is we said that okay we are we want to return so that it doesn't create any left or right node anymore okay but if it is creating left or right node still then we want to get the output like okay at uh, okay so still we want to get the output like okay uh, if this is the node here or if this is the node here then in on the basis of this node or do, what does it think our output is going to be positive or our output is going to be negative so this is what we are doing here okay and if uh, and then it is going to return now we are also going to predict so predict is going to be uh, we have to make a function here that predict like if uh, i am going to give some values here so self uh, self and then test if uh, i am going to give some values here then it is going to predict me or it is going to give me the prediction like whether our output is going to be positive or negative so if test self dot f key is greater than self dot f when okay if test dot self So let's suppose it has uh, humidity, it has temperature, it has uh, uh, it has wind. So we are saying if self dot f key. So in this part, okay. So in this part, what is going to be the f key? Okay. So we are saying that if self dot f key. Let's suppose the f key was wind. So we are saying that okay. Now wind will have now it will have some values like uh, let's suppose it has 0.5 because we are giving only one text so it is going to have like this 0.5 and it is saying if this 0.5 is greater than f well that is our split value so what it is going to do if test uh, self dot write is none then it is going to return self dot target else it is going to return self dot write dot predict test so what i am doing in here i am saying if it is the last node it means it doesn't have any right values because it is greater than so we are checking for the right values if it was less than f value then we will check for the left values okay so we are still uh, if it is greater than right value then we are checking in the right part and if it doesn't have any uh, right so it is going to predict our uh, target 
and if it has any right part so what it is going to do it is going to move to this part and we are going to predict on the basis of this part then the process is going to continue because it is recursion it is essential for you to understand recursion to understand the decision trees i think that it might be uh, confusing to some people like what i am doing here but if you understand the recursion then it is going to be very easy for you so now similarly for the right part if if this is uh, less than this i can do anything like here and uh, here here it should be left so this is going to predict our values so guys this was it this is the main code that we need to wrote to, to uh, what do we say to predict our output and we will see a project a little a small project like a titanic death prediction whether he, uh, a person is going to survive or not okay so we are going to make a project uh, with that on the basis of this so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time